Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues and students of the heart, both metaphorically and medically, welcome to our series of lectures on cardiac function. We're going to move away from GI and delve deep into cardiac abnormalities, but first, we're going to start with the basics. As we approach the season of Valentine's Day, a time when hearts are symbolically represented everywhere, from cards to chocolates, we too will embark on an exploration of the heart. However, our journey will delve deeper than poetic musing and delve into the very rhythms that drive the human experience, the lub-dub of our diligent cardiac companion. Much like the mysteries of love, the heart has its secrets, its complex dances of systole and diastole, and its silent promises that sustain life itself. In the spirit of Valentine's, we'll unravel these mysteries, not with flowers and chocolates, but with the tools of knowledge and science. So prepare to fall in love with the heart all over again, not just as an emblem of affection, but as an extraordinary organ that embodies the essence of life and the pinnacle of physiological marvels. Let's begin our cardiac odyssey, understanding the very beat that may quicken when one receives a valentine, or the pulse that races with the thrill of romance. Welcome to the heart's seasons and reasons. Your boy's a poet. He is just a poet. Well, we'll start with electrical system of the heart and the EKG. The heart's intrinsic electrical system comprises several key structures. The primary pacemaker, the SA node, situated at the right atrium's upper end, sets the rhythm and rate of the heartbeat. Electrical impulses generated by the SA node traverse the atria, prompting them to contract. The electrical relay station, known as the AV node, is positioned at the right atrium's opposite side, adjacent to the AV valve. The AV node momentarily holds the electrical signal allowing the atria to finish contracting and effectively transfer blood into the ventricles before the ventricles themselves contract. From the AV node, the impulse moves to the AV bundle or bundle of hits, which bifurcates into the right and left branches, guiding the impulses to the heart's apex. These impulses subsequently propagate through the Purkinje fibers, which spread extensively across the ventricle's inner muscular layer. The heart's electrical activity is captured on an EKG, which unites the action potentials from the heart's nodes and muscle cells into a single graph. Each part of the EKG trace is linked to a specific electrical event within the heart. For example, the P wave indicates the SA nodes firing and the atria's depolarization. The atria contracts shortly after the P wave's onset. The interval between the P wave and the QRS complex designated as the PQ segment, denotes the transmission time from the SA node to the AV node. The QRS complex highlights the AV node's activation and the ventricle's depolarization, with each wave corresponding to different portions of the ventricles. Concurrently, the atria repolarize, but this signal is masked by the dominant QRS complex. The ST segment on the EKG mirrors the ventricle's sustained depolarization state, which occurs right before they contract and eject blood. The T wave on the EKG represents the ventricle's resetting electrically right before they relax, a phase known as ventricular diastole. This sequence of electrical events is repeated with each cycle of the heart. So that pretty much sums up the cardiac conduction system and EKG. 
as we draw the curtain of today's enlightening journey through the peaks and the valleys of the EKG and the intricate pathways of the cardiac conduction system, let's take a moment to reflect on the heart's ceaseless devotion. Just as Valentine's Day prompts us to express our deepest sentiments and affections, the EKG has shared with us the heart's intimate letters, scribed in its own electrical language. We've traced the path of our impulse through the heart's chamber, much like a carefully penned poem, flowing from stanza to stanza. We've watched the P waves of excitement at the prospect of meeting, the QRS complex of the heart's embrace, and the T wave of a gentle farewell. Each beat a testament to the heart's unwavering commitment to sustain us beat after beat with as much fidelity as the most ardent lover. As we part ways, remember that understanding the heart's signals is akin to understanding a loved one. It takes time, patience, and a willingness to delve beneath the surface. Let the EKG be your guide, not just in clinical sense, but as a reminder of the heart's capacity for endurance, resilience, and above all, its ability to adapt and continue despite life's various trials. So, whether you spend your Valentine's Day amidst the romantic rustle of petals and whispers of sweet nothings, or in the quiet companion of your own heartbeat, remember to appreciate the remarkable symphony within your chest. Until we meet again... Keep the rhythm of your heart in sync with the joys of your life. Let your heartbeat remind you of the love that surrounds us within and without. Thank you, and may your hearts always find the rhythm of health and happiness. You know, your boy's a poet. He is a poet. I missed my calling, guys. I missed my calling. <laughs>